In this video, I'm going to show you how to bring a, an image file into Illustrator and use it as an underlay for a new drawing. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is create a new file in Illustrator. So I'm going to go to File, New, click on Letter. We want it to be a landscape orientation. And all the other settings can remain the same. I'm going to click on Create. And then I'm going to give a name to my file so that I can locate it later and I don't lose my work. So I'm going to save it um, to my computer. For the time being, I'm going to put it on the desktop. And I'm going to call this one Ruled Surfaces. Click on Save. And I'll accept all the defaults here. Next, what I'm going to do is place an image in the file. I'll click on the file and I'll press play, place rather. And I'm going to go ahead and click somewhere on the screen. Now, the image came in really large, so I'm going to press control negative. You can do command negative if you're working on a Mac. And I'm gonna drag this image so it's smaller, but I'm gonna hold down the shift key so that my proportions are constrained. Now it's important, uh, now I've released the shift key and you can see how the proportions are altering. If I don't hold down shift, if I click on shift, it's going to keep the same horizontal and vertical dimensions. Now, this image that I have, and I'll go to Control plus, 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 is um, maybe a little different than the one you're bringing in. In your file, you may have one of these plus a second, a third, and a fourth image. I've cropped this view. Now, you can bring in the four images as you have in your original document. Right Now, what I want to do is move it so that that image, this part of the image, kind of fills the sheet. So I'm going to now stretch it a little bit bigger. You know, I have the reference of the sheet. It's this black rectangle. So I know how big my sheet is underneath it. I just want to make this as big as I can. So I'm just going to, again, hold down that shift key and kind of roughly center it on the page and place it like so. Now what I'm going to do is click on the layers. And so that that image doesn't move around on me, I'm going to lock it. Okay, When I brought the image in, it would automatically default to layer number one. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm still in my layer panel over here. I'm going to create a new layer. And to do that, I'll go down to the bottom here, click on the, the new layer tool, and I'm going to give a name to this one. So I'm going to double click here, and I'm going to call it lines point, maybe I'll call it 0 0.5 point. So this is going to be the thickness of the lines that are on this layer. And I'll click on it so that it turns that blue gray, and I know that that's my current layer. Now next, I'm going to start creating some lines. So over here in the menu on the left, I'm going to hold down the left mouse button on that little teeny arrow, and then I'm going to move down to where it says Line Segment Tool. Okay, And I'm also going to click on the Properties over here on the right. OK, now as you can see, it's set to a one point um, stroke. And that's basically the width of the line. I'm going to scroll up and change it to 0.5. Right now I'm ready to create some lines. So what I'm going to do is start by tracing these three lines that I started with in the drawing. So I'll click. And if you hold down the shift key, if it's a straight line, that will keep it straight. Then I'll come over here 
and I will hold down the key again, hold down shift. Again, you may have diagonals in yours. So in that case, you wouldn't hold down the shift key, but if they're horizontals, you may want to. Okay, now I'm gonna come up and click on this arrow here to eliminate that. Now, what do I see from these lines? Um, let's see if I can. Well, first of all, I'm having a hard time seeing them because I've got the lines behind them. So if you wanna see what they look like, you can turn off that background layer and you'll notice that there are the three lines there. Just one point about um, changing or setting those line thicknesses. So I've added this, um, this group of uh, selection possibilities underneath the menu. To, to turn this on, instead of using the properties window over here on the right, you go to window, workspace, and you ch can change it between essentials and essentials classic. We'll bring all of those up. Okay, so next thing that we're going to do is create the lines between um, the three lines that you see here on the screen. So you'll want to look for the layers panel again. I've changed my tool bar here on the side, um, but process is the same. Look for the layers, create a new layer. This one, let's call it lines, and we'll give it a 0 0.25 point in the titles just to keep them separate. And I'm going to click on it to make that the current layer, and I can minimize that. Though. So again, minimize it, hit this double arrows there, All right? And now I would begin the process of, of drawing the lines between them. Um, before I do that though, I need to see them. So I'm gonna go back to my layers um, panel and turn them back on. Okay, now these lines will be slightly thinner. They're gonna be 0.25 font. So you can either change them here in the pull down or you could use the properties window panel too. So you may wanna start with the end points for this. So I'm, I'm back in the line tool here and oops, can't see you. Now keep in mind, you have to hold down that, that um, your left mouse button. Otherwise it will ask you for angles and that sort of thing. Okay, so let's just take a look at how this is. I'm going to change to my arrow key. I'm going to go back to the layer manager. I'm going to turn off that background layer, and there's my line. So you may need to kind of come in here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and make some adjustments to where those lines are. So I'm going to click on that and drag it back. You can see it's identifying certain endpoints. Okay. And I'll turn back on my background layer, and I will look for it to, you know, it's found that that little square is gonna indicate where the end point is. Okay, and let's see how that looks. Okay, that's in the correct spot. Okay. Um, and I'll just keep, keep going. Next one's going to be, maybe I'll start with the middle. And I gotta find it in there. So I'm gonna track those. And again, if I have to come back and make some adjustments, that's fine. Should be basically in the middle of the line. Okay, and I'll go ahead and continue making these lines. This one is crossing over to the bottom here. This one should go to the quarter point. This one will go to the three eighths point, et cetera. You know, you may find you need to keep turning on and off um, that background layer just to check and see where your lines are. I'm gonna have to make some corrections here. Let's see. Go back to the arrow key, oops. Okay, so I can see I need to kind of clean a couple of things up here. I'm going to drag that 
And you know, want them to be as evenly distributed along those that line as possible. If I do Control F, I can kind of oops, come in there and make a few little adjustments. Maybe the the drawing at the bottom or that the underlay image wasn't one hundred percent accurate. Okay, that's pretty close. This one maybe is a little bit too high. Try to pull that down a little bit. Control negative negative and. I can go in and make some adjustments to the ones over here as well to try to make those as equal as possible. Right. The next step would be to add the lines along the bottom. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I've got them blocked out and I can see I need to make some adjustments up here. Um, they really should be meeting at the same line that they came in. Um, it basically that one line will come here and then it'll at the same intersection point will drop. So um, these look pretty good here on the bottom, but I've got some issues up here. So what I'm going to do is mm -hmm. control plus. I've zoomed in and I'm going to move this one down so it meets that one. And they all are intersecting there. So those look good. Control minus. And get it centered. So that's, that's what the image should look like. So this would be a good time to save your drawing. I'm going to hit save and I will then export the drawing. I'm going to go to export as. I want to export it as a JPEG image called ruled surfaces and we'll go ahead and click on export. Okay, the color doesn't matter because this is going to be a black and white drawing. I'll go ahead and hit OK. Now, one thing that I've noticed is I've, I've opened up the file and it basically has um, cropped the image so that the lines all touch the edges. And that's OK, but I think that you may prefer it if you could see a little bit of white space around the edges. Now, there's a couple of ways to make this correction. One thing is that you could make a, you know, and add a line all the way around the edge, and then it will print all the way to that letter size um, dimension. The other thing that you could do would be to go to file and print it, um, print it as a PDF. So I'm getting a, a preview of it there on the left. I'm going to go ahead and print it. And I'll give it the same name. And save. 